Shout out to the game was good with y'all, man. We are back and better than there with the end of the video. Y'all see that dangerous man just feels ready for yet another game this week. Before we get into that, subscribe if you are new, turn post notifications on. We got daily videos going up between reactions and gaming. Like the video if you like me or the gaming videos that are coming out. And comment down below what you guys are thinking of the series, man. We're getting closer and closer to that ring chase. Oh, yeah. Make sure you follow social media and watch all the way to the end for your boy. Thank y'all so much for the new subs and support. But we're getting so close to that ring, y'all. Uh, playoff. Like I ever say every time. Playoff atmosphere. And it seems like it's been more so the AFC North atmosphere. Because we played every team in the AFC North but the Browns to get to the Super Bowl. We started by beating the Steelers. Beasting the Feasting on the Bengals last episode. Now we got Baltimore here. Uh, first play of the game. We're going to hand this thing off to the fullback. We're going to get things started. Now here we're going to try to come with like a little di different of schemes. Try to run more pistol. And when you get to the playoffs, that's where you really want to start bringing out a little bit more formations to keep the computer guessing. Because, you know, the computer will adjust. Mm. There you go, Mon St. Brown. They will adjust to what you're doing, and if you're not careful, keep running the same plays and get locked up. You might see a little bit of trick plays, but we're going to try to save a lot of them also, too, for the Super Bowl. But, ooh, flip. Oh, dang, that was not flip. I don't know what button I just pushed, but I tried to flip it because it looked like they're about to let, um, let Mon St. Brown have the opening route off the field. Oh, who was that? That was another rookie we had drafted that hasn't got much playing time, but he has star development out of nowhere, so. I'm trying to get him the ball more. I think I put him into like the fourth receiver slot with Perriman being gone next year. Uh, oh yeah, that's Kenyon though. Any other time that's been knocked down, so I did not think we'd be able to catch that. But so now we gotta come back on defense after throwing that, throwing that up. I probably shouldn't have did it, but the good thing is we know this playbook a little bit, so we can kind of guess what they're about to do. Um, good sag. I wasn't even looking at that, boy. John Franklin Lamar is getting in the backfield to go ahead and get Lamar Jackson down, but we do run the same exact offense as Boston. We have their playbook. They'll probably run some stuff that we haven't gotten into yet. Oh, yeah. See, look, we haven't ran no screens, but that's another sack. That's why you can't run screens on this. Brian Cashman in the backfield sent his own blitz. 28 after two huge sacks. So we're probably about to get this rock back. About to punt it right back to us. So it's good, strong defense as long as we don't let nothing up deep. Okay, yep. You got a half back. That's fine by me. Here we go back on offense. The run game was working. We just made a bad decision on, on the pass. So don't think that we just about to give up on the pass. But we are going to come back with a little bit more run heavy mindset. And look at that. First play. Directly up the middle, nobody there in the second level. And now we're on our side of the field just that quick. Here we go. This is that play. This is the formation you was in last time. I'm trying to remember a little bit. Gun flex. Third and five. Gotta get the first down here. And look, Mon St. Brown running wide open. I think that graphic shows it well. Oh, see it coming down. That's about to be slant play. That's about to be blitz. It shows really well like how diverse our receiving core is. Uh, you know, someone new is always having a big breakout game. Last game was Crowder as he gets into the end zone. Before that, and now you see Monsey Brown with already three catches. Here we go, first and ten. As I'm eating you know, a little brekkie. A little brekkie breakfast. And when you eat your breakfast, you get hitch dish. Doing our thing, covering everybody, making sure everything stays short. 37 here, can't allow anything short. They're doing a screen pass. I'm coming over here for it. Oh, no, 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 stop, stop getting juked. And I overshot, but there was two of us there that weren't getting blocked, and he juked, and all of a sudden, he it's just dumb, yo. Oh, my gosh, and then nobody on the back. Thank you, Jair, for coming over. If I don't make the tackle, it's a broken tackle. Oh, yeah, let me come back. Yeah, no, 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 boy, you should have been... Uh, probably what we do is we end up switching the matchup and putting somebody else there at corner uh, and see how that looks. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's Amon St. Brown. Right through the hole. Yes, sir. That's a touch. Right back. Come on now. Don't test my offense. <laughs> He took too long to get off it. If they're pressing, maybe. But we're gonna run the read option, see if it works. They're still holding true to the quarterback, just like we are. But man, I need this game to be a little more loose, bro. I'm trying to run this rock, and they ain't let me do what I need to do. 
So you know I'm about to hit that corner route. There you go. St. Brown head on to, to it for me. That's why you got to sometimes test them one-on-ones. I don't do it too often, especially not down the field. But look at that. Already 122 yards on the day. Yeah, we got so many Browns out here. There you go. St. Brown with the catch. Here we go. Second and goal. It does look like it's probably going to be man coverage blitz. We'll go ahead and run like a little stick concept. Put Mims on the slant inside. And that's a touchdown. Justin Fields coordinated another one. So after they, for whatever reason, punted the ball back, we're going to come back down. Change that to a full slant, so he's going all the way across the field. We're going to try to get the field to score at least a field goal before the end of the half. Oh, come on, Crowder. Come on. Ah. Looks like we just gave them points. Not before I get stuck on somebody, I'm not even trying to be controlling. Oh, come on. You got to carry. back on <clears throat> back in the game we were able to get a field goal there with the last 22 seconds thankfully um we just got a kind of a little mm, what the I, I was putting all my anger into that hit stick because that really shouldn't have happened last drive but it's got to keep playing good defense we've been playing good defense all day long the only two times they scored have been off mistakes that we made so oh yeah oh, come, on, come, on, come on come on come on get him down get him down no no I'm not gonna completely sell out on read option when we get back to defense. Like you can't do that because then that's when they're gonna kill you with the pass. They haven't been doing it all game. They're not gonna get away with it, so I'm not worried about it. So here we go. And this is also another thing too. I, I talk about when I said like how I said the computer just to play. Just watch how they cover square here. They've been doing it all game, so I'm pretty sure they're gonna probably do it again. And that used to be our bread and butter play. That's how Mims got his superstar uh, upgrade. Look at that. Now they run the route for him. So here we are. You see Crowder is back in the game finally. Just probably like a little one quarter uh, deal. Look, now the drag route's wide open. Now I Mims mean, getting busy. Yes, sir. First down, we keep driving. Let's see if we can get this play run, uh, switched over real quick. Four, three. Pack it a little bit earlier. That's fine. Just because we don't want to get the delay again. See what it's talking about here. Hmm. Roll out. There ain't nobody open. So Justin Fields about to get busy. Oh no 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 no! You, okay okay just don't just don't fumble my rock people just don't fumble my rock we good. Here we're gonna stick. Oh yeah man coverage again. So we'll see if both linebackers come down or what they're about to do. But we should be able to get this slant route out to Crowder. after the offensive drive went great again now we just gotta keep doing what we do on defense keep doing what we do on defense yep stop that because i'm playing safety okay i went back okay we're gonna drop back to cover three that's fine by me come down get that yik uh, i went too far bro dang you be quick to get over to the ball though and coverage here look like we're gonna try to run a triple option see if there's anything for us let me move the other way um just because there's more green grass this way Man, still want to just guard the quarterback Man, a little formation here third and one looks there in just a regular old cover four but we're just gonna go ahead and just get this first that's all we care about right now it wasn't now he's out of his x-factor so i have no idea what coverage they are in but I do see Deami Brown wide open. Earn that more playing time, G. Show me why next season you're going to be the, the number four. Mm. 
We're gonna run with it. We're gonna keep the play. We're gonna keep the play, run. Oh, okay. Five low key might break, spin and break out of that, but it is what it is. Second goal. Here we are, under eight minutes, on the one. Gonna try to get this thing off the Drake. Yep, wide open hole. Come on now. We can take care of part A. Maybe it's easy. Oh, handstand, what the? on defense and this is it's where it comes down to we got to make our plays we got to oh they were in the screen thank goodness because I, I keep getting caught coming down too far people blitz in first and ten yep I'm right here oh that's another screen but that's a sag CJ Mosley coming in for his third tackle of the game finally getting in the backfield them over a little bit second and 17 after the big second they just keep wanting to run screens for whatever reason Mm, come here. No, you ain't going nowhere. Come here. We're going to stay in nickel, though. We're going to still send a blitz. We're going to stay in man coverage. Fourth and nine. Let's see what play they're trying to design up here out of the pistol bunch look. Oh, yeah. That's one on one coverage. Four, so they can't tie the game right here. They can't win the game right here. Oh, yeah. That's good, man. Coverage. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Everybody's covered. Yes, sir. And that's a sack. Quentin Williams not getting in the back. I think it's like our third or fourth sack of the game. We're adding the Dom look now. Cover two, press man. Uh, play deep, play deep, play deep. Oh, Elliot, come on, come on, come on. Let's go, let's go, let's go. The quick turnaround. Come on, pick six, pick six, pick six. Ah, pretty on our side of the field thanks to that great pick by Elliot. I take back what I said about him not being able to move that good. Because <laughs> he, he did come through for me right there. Now we got a two clock on. Gonna run the ball, take whatever points we get here. Oh, dang, it might, I would say it might be a touchdown first play. We ain't gonna run no type of trick plays here. Just gonna keep it nice and simple here. Just a little read option. This will take us down to a two-minute warning. So final play before that, three, two, one, hike. I knew they was gonna let King Drake get the rock. Oh, well, they just gonna let me score. That's a touchdown right in the two-minute warning. Overall, it wasn't a touchdown. They both reviewed it, got overturned. And then Baltimore used the timeout, even though it was a two-minute warning. I don't know why they do that, but it is what it is, so we will get at least a chance to waste some more time or get the timeouts off. We're gonna run a toss here. Oh, never mind. But we need. Coach John Smooth will be in his first ever Super Bowl. Now it took three seasons, technically, from when we took over this team. We had year one, five and 11, the worst team in the league. It's the worst team in the league. We had a great draft that not only included one hidden development, one, two, three, four, five, six of our seven picks ended up being hidden development. Six, no, six, not seven. Eight, nine, ten. Six of our ten picks ended up being hidden development. Getting a bunch of people that were crucial roles. We got Kenyon Pollard in the sixth round. You saw how big he was today. Mikael Cunningham, you've seen how he's developed and been key to the role. He was our seventh round pick. Uh, we got guys like Darius Stills, Xavier Collins, Sean Slater. You saw Mont St. Brown and Justin Fields going off all game long. Six for 137. You see it right there on the screen. Then we had season two. 11-5. Lost in the wild card round, uh, fifth in the power rankings that year. Huge, huge major jump. And we went ahead and just shoot up a couple more things. Only one hidden development that time. We only needed four of our seven picks in that year's draft. And then we moved it all the way to this year. Kind of disappointing. An eight and eight finish, but it's ending off with a Super Bowl trip, AFC champions. And let's go into these stats real quick. Uh, you can see this final score was 48-35. So what happened after, you know, we got that game seal touchdown? No, no, no. I think they scored that touchdown. Then we threw the interception. Fumble. Got overturned. They had the ball. Then we sacked them. 
they went for it on fourth. We stopped them. There was four seconds left. We were at the 42 yard line. So I said, hey, why not? Will Lutz, can you make a 59 yard kick? It says 58 there, but we we're at the 42. So he made a 59 yarder. I just want to see if we can make it. Should that situation arise up in the Super Bowl? But uh, you see the stats here. Fields, 341, four touchdowns, two picks, 280, four touchdowns, and an interception for Lamar Jackson. Uh, King and Drake got 100 yards, two touchdowns. We saw a lot of those came here at the end when we were winning. You just keep handing him the rock off. St. Brown went off this time. It was his turn. Six receptions, 137, and a touchdown. Crowder, 95, with two touchdowns. Even missing a whole quarter. Uh, you see Young Brown came in for two clutch catches, 14 yards. Mims, 51, and a touchdown. Smith did his thing. Drake did his thing. Uh, nothing to report on the blocking, it looks like. Tackles. CJ Mosley with eight. Sacks. You saw we had. Looks like we ended up with six of them. Two by Stephon Page, the rookie. Quinn Williams got a one. Brian Cashman got a one. John Franklin Myers got a one. CJ Mosley got a one. INT, you saw Deshaun Elliott, the free agent we went and signed. Don't even got to look at nothing. Pass pro, obviously, you know, you're the backup, but you, you're the left tackle too, so you should be good at pass protection. Fullback, doesn't really matter what we're doing. Here, we're going to just upgrade the utility, get that overall up. Uh, you see all the big time upgrades there. Blake Cashman, get your pass coverage up because there's a couple times there you got to be a little worried. But now he's a 77 overall, plus one zone and man. That's great. Plus one change of direction. I didn't even know that was a, a category. What? I got what? Um, Rashad Perryman, I don't know how you got up there. You ain't even play this game, but you know, we ain't gonna we ain't gonna make you go out on a bad note. We're gonna upgrade you some type of way so wherever you go next, you can be a key part of that team. So we're gonna get that route runner up 80 overall now. Uh yeah, he will be traded or released in the offseason one of the two. Uh, that's just how that's going. So all the all his around already got moved up. Justin Fields. Uh looking at his ratings, you know, he's got good medium accuracy, good short accuracy. You know, even minus the morality boost, they're both still in the 90s. Play action is pretty low, throwing the pressure is pretty low, uh, deep accuracy is pretty low, throw power is at 95. So let's see what what action is that um, throwing the pressure? Should that be improvising? Probably improviser and scrambler. So we're just gonna upgrade improviser real quick, get him up to an 88 overall. Uh, throwing the run plus one, throwing the pressure plus three. Go through it um, real quick if y'all want to slow down, look at any notable names that y'all see. Obviously, none of our dudes are going to be on here because we are going to the Super Bowl, but I will just kind of let it run through. But basically, what's going to happen now is we're going to see who's in the Super Bowl, maybe take a quick look at their roster if we played them before. And next episode is Super Bowl. I don't even know what Super Bowl this will be. I got to look at what the number will be like. Probably like 50, 60, 50. Maybe I don't know. I'll have that information for you to the Super Bowl. And I'll say what Super Bowl it is. But for now, see the Pro Bowl roster. We'll probably go look at the yearly awards, and then we're just gonna get up out of here, man. So in case I don't say it later, I'll go ahead and run through it. Thank y'all for watching. I hope y'all are enjoying the video. Subscribe for your new channel. Post Don't like the video if you like me. And for more Madden content, and comment down below what you guys are thinking of the series, man. So and it looks like Lamar Jackson will be the team MVP. He feels finished sixth in voting. Jacobs, Watson, Lawrence, Cam. Uh, Coach of the year was Joe Judge of the Giants, leading them to 12 and 4, but not good enough to lead them to the to the bowl. Because I don't even think, yeah, they weren't playing in the AFC Championship game, so that that sucks. Offensive player of the year, Fields finished seventh, but goes Josh Jacobs, Jerome Baker for defensive player of the year. We had nobody offensive rookie. Uh, Seth Carmichael of the Colts, defensive rookie of the year, Kyle St. Louis of the Texans. Oh, wait, who we had somebody? Stephon Page finished third. Okay. Uh, Lamar Jackson for best QB fields finished third. Best running back Josh Jacobs. Best receiver Tyree Kill with St. Brown finishing third. Best O line. See how that list looks. We had somebody get on the list at eighth. That's not too bad. Best D line. Oh, JJ Watt finished fourth in that. You see, we have nobody there either. Best linebacker, nobody. Best DB Brian Poole finished ahead of Alexander. That's because he had more interceptions. But overall, playing wise, uh, still giving it to Alexander because you kind of messed up last game. Uh, best kicker, Will Lutz. We actually did have somebody win an award. Then Will Lutz won best kicker. So that's one award for for the team. Uh, I'll let y'all quickly look at the NFC stuff too as well. And there it is, man. Playoff bracket done and complete. The Cowboys beasted and feasted on the football team. They had a close game in the wild card round. Beast feasted on the Giants and then Beast feasted on the football team 40 to 16. 
to go ahead and face us. You see, all our games have finished close, but we've been able to be in a position where they were pretty much shut out before the last drive, uh, as you saw. Uh, but we were able to put things away. Uh, this one looked a lot closer than it probably should have been because I was making dumb mistakes at, at the point where I simulated it um, for you. Well, I simulated it for you guys, but the parts that y'all didn't see. But we will be taking on the Cowboys next episode, man. So I will get up out of here. Uh, we do got a little bit of scouting, all that stuff to do. I will do it on my own. We'll play the Super Bowl, and then we'll probably do another live stream for the offseason. We might go over to Twitch this time instead of doing it on YouTube. Uh, let me know what y'all think. I hope y'all enjoyed the video, and I'll get it y'all next time. Bye, right, girl. Dog over here, Mark. But I'll get it y'all next time. It's time to take this one outside. Sean Too Smooth is out. Coach Smooth is winning by the winning so first Super Bowl ring. I'll see y'all next time. It's been the Black Hokage, Black Avatar, and King Leo himself. Head of Smooth is the head quarter. Shout out D-Wade. I'm out. <laughs> really, nigga? Trying to ruin my outro. <laughs> Trying to ruin my outro. <laughs> Hold on. Peace. Ah!